welcome back to my youtube channel so i hope you all are well at your home and today i'm going to tell you that how to make an elastic book design in powerpoint so let's have a look so i have named my book as my presentation book yeah this is the page number one i've written topic one page number two and page number three on uh, both the pages page number two and page number three three i have talked about water conservation and this is my thank you page so we have just taken a look now uh make it now let's make it so for that to make a uh, elastic book design in powerpoint we need an outer cover of a notebook and an inner cover so i have taken the same outer cover and the inner cover so this is my outer cover and inner cover now i need the second slide yeah so now i will go to view i'll enable the guide i'll enable the guides and guides and now I will go to shapes. First, go to insert, then shapes. Then, uh, then we will choose a rectangle, and then we will draw a rectangle according according to this line. I think this much is enough for the cover. Now, done this much. Now I'll go to my covers page. I'll copy this outer cover you can press control c and now now i will go again to the shapes insert shapes i now i'll take a rectangle which is you can you know take this much size size is okay i'll put this here then i'll go to shape outline no outline i'll click here format shape then i'll go to need to put a shadow so first for that i will go here in effects format shape effects and then shadow then i'll click on pres presents and then under inner you you have to select the first part so you can see now i'll take this as a black color no outline then white so this is how you can also make i'll press it how much space or how much size you want to do you can do on your own but i have only taken this much size and this much gap so so it looks neat and good yes now it is done as you can see now i will you know make a curve line for it a arc line so i'll go, for that i will go to insert shapes and I'll go under basic shapes here will uh, give an option arc so i'll click on arc i'll make an arc then go to for, uh, this is format format shape and now you can you know if you want to you will go to width maybe you can do uh, five pets five pets wait yeah i think five pets is enough okay i'll curve it like this now uh here will come gradient line click on gradient line this gradient line and then click on this i'll just put it here then the, there are gradient stops you can put according to you your thinking uh, i'll choose the color for this i'll choose um, light black then the third stop i will choose gray 
and the fourth stop i will choose lakh again and the first stop also i'll choose lakh again yeah so as you can see it is most done almost done now i'll i'll delete them all these i'll put them like the same as others Yeah, I've taken many. So this way you can do yes. So as you can see, it is done. Most now, what I'll do, I will insert. I'll go to insert text box and I will insert a text box. Now I will name my book. I am naming my book as my uh, presentation book, but you can uh, name it any other. Name. Take another form. Now I am increasing the size. Okay, so it is. Done. Yes. Okay. Now I will take another slide. I will insert another slide. So for that, I will just duplicate the slide. And this was my first slide, and this is my now second slide. So I'll backspace it. Yeah. Now here, what I'll do? I will take my cover. This. I have already the same cover, so I don't need to take the cover. But if you have the inner cover as different, so you have to copy paste it. So be careful at that time. Now I'm gonna paste the same page over here. So this is done. Now I'm gonna right here. I'm gonna insert a rectangular box. Go to shapes. Go to insert shapes and go to rectangle. Insert a box. Color it as white. Like do. Do like this, yeah. So you have to put on this, you know, boxes, and then I'll just go to format. I'll shape no outline now. Format again, then I will click here, send backward, send backward. So you can see I have sent it to backward. Now I'll cover uh, color these boxes as blue. Oh wait. Uh yeah. So now I will color it uh, as blue color. So and you know yeah. This is oh why it's coming like this. Yeah. Mm. So I've done these two blue, two blue as yeah. Okay. So now you can see this is almost done. Inside this page, you can write any thing of your own topic and now i will uh, go to in duplicate slide again i will insert a duplicate slide so that um we can go to h3 yeah again i have copied a duplicate slide i will take the again the 
similar page as the inner cover so that I can insert the page on the another side also and just, I'm just copying it I press control V to get that group. now I'll just do like this I, I'll again go to forward uh, format and then I'll go to send backward send to back now and insert the same you know the i insert the same boxes over here let me do it now i click to format send to backward yeah you can do rest like this only yeah same as all uh now as you can see they are in backward i'll push them in the front so that they can be forward yes select them and click on send forward so you can see this is done insert another page for this another white page for that i will go in insert on insert shapes again select rectangle white page control press control d and paste it like this and see it send backward backward it's done now it is connected now i will remove this first slide it was removed. This is my first slide. This is my second slide. This is my third. Now I'll add a bookmark so that I can I can write the page numbers for it. But before that, what I'll do? I will insert another page, another slide. Why? Because I need to insert and thank you page. Delete. Add new slide page, copy this page. Control C, I'll press Control C and then I'll here press Control V. I'll take here this page. Yeah, okay. Now I'll do right here and go to insert again. I'll uh, add a text box. I will add a text box, uh, which is um, yeah. Thank you, page. Okay, thank you for uh, thank you for presentation. But I have, just write thank you. I'll take this quant. Okay, now I'll write in the center. Now copy these boxes. I'll just I'll group it for that. Control press Control G, and now I will. Press Control C for copying it. Control and delete it. I'll go to this one. I'll I'll select only the boxes. Only the boxes I'll select. Now I will copy them. I'll copy them. Yeah. I'll go to the thank you page and I will paste them. I'll again delete it. I will paste here. Yes. Now I will select this as this. Okay. So now same similar as this. And you have to, uh, you know, remember to remember to rotate them because that is a very important thing. So if you will not rotate them, then your presentation will, you know, not get a good. To do these three like this right now. My horse So this is a little bit 
like not difficult but it's a you need to put your efforts to make this so this is your choice that uh, you have to like you know make it good or like fast fast but if you make it like in a calmly way so now it's done also one thing is uh you know left so i'll tell you what which thing is left now it's done the pages are done but i have not put the bookmarks so for that i'll go to third i will go to shapes i will take this shape i'll go under rectangles and i will choose top corner snip and i'll put this 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 i'll tilt it i'll small it and right over here page one okay now i will do page number as you can put the same bookmarks page number two and page number three let me do it again go to shapes oh wait i have taken another thing yeah just a second just do. okay so yes now let's see <coughs> Now I'll write page two. Similar, I'll copy it. Control C, Control D. Oh, sorry. Control. I'll get. I'll get. Wait. I'll edit it as a page number three. It's twenty three. Wait. Yes. I'll. Yes. Okay. Now, so this was my first page. This is my second, and this is my third page. And also, this is my th uh, thank you page. And now, I'll put an animation. So for that, I will click on this. I'll go to translations. I'll go to page curl. You know, page curl, and like this. Then I will click here. I'll go again. Go to translations, and I'll again do page curl. So it will be like this. Review page curl like this. Now I will do in the similar way for these. Just a second. Similar way you can do for this page curl, and similar way for this page curl. So now let's see how. And if you want to write something, you can write on your own. So this is how we can, you know, make a presentation. As I show you. So just a second. Yeah, my presentation book. Topic one, page one, page two, and page three. And this is my thank you page. Also, guys, like, share, and comment to my video. Subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon to get notifications for my videos. Thanks for watching.